Welcome to The Pretty Fix, your ultimate online makeup resource. We're here to teach you a skill that every girl is going to need to know at one time or another, which is how to cover a zit easily without caking on too much makeup. All of us get breakouts from time to time, and because they can be tricky to cover, it's super easy to pile on too much makeup and end up drawing even more attention to the zit because it looks so cakey. Really, the goal we have here is to hide the zit in a way that looks natural so nobody even notices it's there. We're gonna show you how to do that right now. Step one, gather your tools. The key to covering a zit without it looking cakey is to use these three things. Number one, a super pigmented liquid concealer that matches your skin tone. Make sure that it's not lighter or it's gonna end up highlighting your zit. Number two, a tiny brush that fits the size of your zit. And number three, a small domed brush for blending. If you have a really hard to cover zit that's either super red and angry or shows up kind of dark because of your skin tone or because there's some scabbing there, you're gonna also need a color corrector, which we're gonna get into later. You may also wanna have on hand a fluffy powder brush and a little bit of loose powder for setting your makeup in the end. Step two, prepping the skin. Make sure that you are always starting with a clean slate before you attempt to cover any of your blemishes. It's gonna mean that your makeup stays on better and also that you're far less likely to further clog your pores by stacking your makeup on top of oil and dirt. Washing or toning your face is really key, but make sure you also moisturize so that your skin feels soft and hydrated. Do not skip moisturizer. Your skin is actually far more likely to produce more oil or absorb your makeup quicker if it's feeling too dry. Because your skin tends to be oilier when it's breaking out, it might be a great idea to also apply a super thin layer of mattifying foundation primer all over your face after your moisturizer, which will help keep your shine under control and help your makeup stay on better. Step three, foundation, if you want it. If you normally wear foundation, go ahead and apply this now to start evening out your skin. Foundation is helpful because it'll start to hide the zit a bit, meaning you're gonna need to use less concealer. If you don't wear foundation though, it's totally fine. You can still cover the zit up on its own, so don't freak. Step four, covering the zit. To start covering your zit, pick up a very small amount of concealer with your smallest brush and pat it directly onto the center of the zit. Then take your clean, domed blending brush and use an up and down motion we refer to as stippling to distribute the concealer and begin the blending process. You're probably gonna notice that you need to do a few rounds of this process to fully cover the zit, which is totally normal. The key to doing any makeup well is to use very thin layers, gradually building up to the result you want rather than just slapping on too much product from the get-go. Using the least amount of product possible is what gets you the natural result you're after. And yes, this is an art that you're going to perfect with practice. Step five, dealing with difficult zits. If you have a zit that is extra red or very dark, it's gonna be pretty difficult to cover with just concealer. For red zits, you'll want to grab a green color corrector. And for zits with a scab or that are dark because of your skin tone, you'll want to use an orangey peachy color corrector. Don't worry, we've got product recommendations linked right below the video. To cover a tricky zit, all you need to do is repeat the same process we just went through using a color corrector after your first round of concealer to neutralize the tones that are still showing through. Here's how to do that. After applying a super thin layer of concealer, take your small concealer brush and pick up just a very bare hint of color corrector and then tap it really lightly right where the redness or darkness is showing up. The key is to use enough corrector so that the tone is covered, but not so much so that you then see the color of the color corrector super strongly. This is a huge no-no that I see all the time on YouTube tutorials and it is dead wrong. After you've applied the corrector, if you still need another layer of concealer, go for it. Just make sure to blend it out again with your domed brush. At this point, your zit should be totally covered. Step six setting your makeup without getting it cakey. If you can usually get away without powder because your makeup kind of stays in place, by all means skip it. It's gonna reduce the likelihood of adding in cakiness right at the last second. But if you do wanna make sure that your coverage lasts, you'll wanna set it with the most lightweight, translucent powder you can find. Use a small amount of powder and a fluffy powder brush 
tap off the extra powder, and then ever so lightly dust it across your zit, barely touching your skin so that you don't disturb the concealer underneath. That's it! Those are the keys to covering your breakouts like a true pro. The more you practice, not only will you get better at making this look ultra natural, but this process is going to become second nature, and you'll know you never have to worry again when you see a pesky blemish pop up. Thank you so much for tuning into The Pretty Fix. If these tips were helpful to you, please show us some love by giving this video a like, and then make sure that you hit that red subscribe button along with the notifications bell to see all the other amazing tutorials we have coming your way. Also, you're gonna wanna head over to our website at www.theprettyfix.com for way more expert makeup advice so that we can get started solving your beauty dilemmas.